Hey everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to uh, CPT for PTSD. Today we're going to talk about session seven um, and we're just going to jump right into it. I'm sure that anybody who's following along has watched the previous six, understands where we are. If you haven't watched the previous six, I highly recommend you go back and start from session one. They're 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes long each one. Do sessions one through six and then catch up with us here on session seven. So session seven, uh, last week what we did was in session six, we took a stuck points log and we wrote out um, six of the challenging beliefs worksheets, right? And so it was the first time we were doing this, putting all these things together from previous worksheets, from the ABC worksheets, from the problematic thinking worksheets. Um, and so we're gonna review our results from session six. And so you're going to review with your therapist. And, and in my case, my therapist helped me rewrite some of my answers in the challenging worksheets that, that I was comfortable with, right? If I was comfortable rewriting them, he encouraged me to, because it helped me get more concise with what I was saying. I'm a very short, simple answer. The, the light switch is either on or it's off. There's no dimmer switch, there's no gray, there's no medium, there's no none of that. It's either on or off. The answer is yes or no. Um, so I had to change my thinking a little bit and, and change the way I was processing these things so that I could, um, <clears throat> so that I could get through them. So what happened was um, we went through these challenging beliefs worksheets and I'll have added you know, like this says yes and has an explanation after it. I probably had yes for an answer. And then I went back and added in after he went over it with me and said, okay, well, that's a yes, but the yes, why? Right. Um, and so we went through quite a bit of that. Um, it was a good experience. And um, take your time, try and learn from the first time that we did this, which was last session, because every session moving forward until the end, you're gonna be doing challenging beliefs worksheets. Um, it's gonna get monotonous, but there's a reason behind it. And we're gonna start focusing on specific types of stuck points moving forward. Um, we're gonna learn a little bit about that today, and then you're gonna learn how to process it in the next session. So. Um, we got our stuck points log, we got our challenging beliefs uh, worksheet, and I'm just going to share one with you. Um, this is from August of 2023, and my daughter was going to get married, and I was walking her down the aisle in October. And so uh, we were planning, we were getting a lot of planning done. I had family coming in from out of state, and anybody who's followed along so far knows that air travel is a trigger for me. It's, it's a stuck point it gets my brain jumbled, right? So um, <clears throat> the situation, which is the first column, is my family traveling by plane. The, the thoughts and stuck points that I had are that I'm worrying something bad is going to happen and that consumed me 90% of the time. 90% of my thoughts about my family flying in, who I haven't seen in a couple years, my biggest concern was they were going to get hurt on the way at 90%. 10% of me was excited. And I realistically think that a whole bunch more of me was excited, but I couldn't get past that stuck point. Um, and then the emotions that took over me were fear. And again, I'm going to equate that at 90%, just like the actual thought and stuck point, because that's really where I was. 90% of the time, I was concerned. So then we get into the challenging thoughts, which came from our challenging beliefs worksheet. Um, is there evidence for this? Well, yeah, things do happen to airplanes. Is there evidence against it? No, it's out of my control. There's nothing I can do to influence how that's gonna end up. Um, is it habit or fact? It's a habit of mine to find that least likely possibility and explode it and just pull it all up into the forefront. Um, is it not including all the information? Well, part of the information that it's not including is that greater than 99.9% .9 of all flights are perfectly fine. Greater than 99.9%. .9 and, um, you know, that, that says a lot about how my mind has twisted some of this stuff, right? Um, is it is it all or none statement? Yep, everything's going to go wrong. That's the all or none. Is it an extreme or exaggerated? It's absolutely exaggerated. Again, it's all going to go bad. 
um, is it focused on just one piece? It's not based on statistics. It's based on my own personal view. Uh, is the source dependable? Absolutely, because I'm not the expert. Um, is it confusing the possible with the likely? Obviously, based on feelings or facts, it's all about feelings. And then is it, how is it focused on, on, how am I not focused on unrelated parts? The other part of this that I came up with that I needed to work on this, I needed to work on this a little bit was I am more likely to have a car wreck than I am to be in a plane accident. I am multitudes more likely to be in a car wreck than I am to be in a plane accident. People die in car wrecks all the time. So I had to keep that in mind. And that really started changing my perspective a little bit. Um, or at least changing my perspective when I got hit by that stuck point, right? Again, PTSD doesn't go away. You just learn how to cope with it. So then we get into the problematic patterns. And this is the problematic thinking worksheet. That's column E. So we've gone through situation, thought, and stuck point, challenging thoughts. And then we're on to, uh, or ch thoughts and stuck points, emotions, challenging thoughts, and then problematic patterns. Problematic uh, worksheets. You've learned how to do this. Am I jumping to conclusions? Yes. Unrealistic expectation of bad. I mean, that's just what mine says. Uh, am I exaggerating or minimizing? Yes. I'm assuming the worst. Ignoring important parts, the stats of air travel. A lot of this is very repetitive, like I said, but there's a reason behind that. It's kind of like uh, memorizing something. If you want to memorize a speech, what do you do? You read it over and over and over. You write it down over and over and over. You listen to it over and over and over. So that's what these challenging beliefs worksheets are really getting to. Um, is it oversimplifying or overgeneralizing? Both of them? Big yes. Uh, is it mind reading? In a way, I'm, I'm, I'm fortune telling more than mind reading, but I'm fortune telling. <clears throat> um, emotional reasoning? is the fear of protecting my family, even though I could do nothing to protect them in that instance. Then you get into alternative thoughts, which is the last column on these challenging beliefs worksheets. We went over this during the last session, but I'm going to go over it again. These are new questions, right? The new questions are what, can, what else can I say instead of the thought that I had or the stuck point that I had? So what I thought was, hey, my family will be fine and enjoy their travel based on statistics. And I said, okay, well, I can, I can pull that in and wrap my head around that about 80% while the other 20% still struggled, right? Um, and then it asks you to re-rate your old thought and stuck point, which I gave a 20% because to me that means that I'm 80% confident there's 20% left and that's stuck in that stuck point. Um, the emotions, now what do you feel? Rate it from zero to 100 um, at that time, I said I was more at peace, given the facts and stats, and that was at a full 80%. So that's an example, of a real-life example of my own personal challenging beliefs worksheets. So you're going to review all those from session six. And then, <clears throat> once you get through reviewing all of your homework, what you're going to do is you're going to get this handout. And this handout is about safety issues. And it's basically going to introduce you to the first module, which is around safety. And there's two parts to safety. There's safety beliefs for yourself and safety beliefs related to others. And so both, the, the, both those categories, this is self, the next page is others. Um, both of them have the same type of information, but focused information. So I'm going to walk through that real quick with you so that you know what to expect. Um, safety issues module, uh, the belief that you can protect yourself from harm and have some control over events, um, prior experiences, negative and positive, um, symptoms associated with negative safety beliefs about yourself, um, chronic and persistent anxiety, intrusive thoughts about danger, irritability, you know, kind of like being in the military, um, examples of possible stuck points. Uh, the examples will help you relate those things that are focused on safety back in so that you can really start getting your homework lined up for what you want to study during that session. Um, and then possible resolutions. If you previous believed that X, a possible alternative thought might be Y, right? Um, it kind of digs back into and it relates directly to 
challenging beliefs worksheet. So once you're done going over that, they're going to assign you homework. And surprise, surprise, you're going to get six challenging beliefs worksheets, or at least I did. And on those six, if you can start looking and working through a little bit of understanding which ones may be related to, to safety, and you don't have to do this because you really start to shape this moving forward, but start to look for a couple at least that have to do with safety. Put those in there and you'll be able to really start seeing how these modules are going to work. Uh, in the next session, they'll preview the next session. The next session you'll get into processing the safety and then they're going to introduce trust. So, you know, the first module is safety, second module is trust, and we'll go from there. Again, you're going to be doing these challenging beliefs worksheets for the rest of the sessions that you have. It seems crazy, but it works or it worked for me. Um, I hope this works out really good for you. I hope this was informative. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Um, give me a hit that like button for me. Uh, if it was helpful for you and you think it'll be helpful for others, please share the video. And then I ask that if you're really enjoying this, just subscribe to the channel. I'm going to bring more content like this as soon as I get through with this set, these uh, sessions. I really wanted to put this series out there before I started getting any other content out. So I appreciate it. Again, take care of each other. We'll talk to you later.